special today at 10 to 5. But now, Shortland Street. You and your boss, there's obviously more than a work relationship going on there. Is there? I can tell by the way you're looking at him. He's a fool. I'll choose you over her any day. It's probably not a good idea. Karen, I have never wanted someone as much as I do right now. Stay with me. You can't go. That's exactly what I am doing right now. I want you to stay with me. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I just said it. Sleep with me. <sighs> no. No, I'm being a good boy. I'm sending you upstairs on your own. And I'm calling you tomorrow to see how you are. Hey guys, just a quick thanks for allowing us to have a couple of spectators today. Sophie and Nate are in the viewing room and I'll be talking them through this operation. Alright guys? Now we can't actually hear you of course, so just give us a thumbs up for yes. Right on. Fifteen blades scalpel. As you can see, we're now making the initial incision. Oh. You'll never be able to watch a carvel lamb roast again without thinking of this moment. My mum doesn't do roasts. She just assembles. Well, fair enough. She spends a whole day carving up flesh. Shut up! <laughs> hey, have you got your phone on you? Yeah, why? You reckon you can video a devil without anyone seeing? Well, why am I going to video him? Evidence. Well, he's not going to kill anyone in the operating theatre. Not on purpose, anyway. But think, if he is the killer, and we've got film of him. Using the same scalpel, I'm now deepening the incision through fat and cervical fascia to expose the strap muscles. Whoa, check that out. What, is devil looking evil or something? Oh, man. Nate, you're meant to be filming the suspect, not some random guy having his skin pulled back. Now, if I can just keep it on his face, then we'll be able to see when he's looking just a little too interested in all the body parts. Oi! You better scoot after that. <laughs> sure, I'll go. If you can tell me when I can come back. Well, I guess after work tomorrow, depending on what Nate's up to. Well, what about tomorrow morning when we both know he's at school? <laughs> because you should be at school as well. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that to somebody I just made love to. <laughs> well, I'm sure I could miss a class or three. Don't make me say anything else that makes me sound like your mother. Well, I can't help it if I want to spend every spare minute with you. Okay. Here's 15 more minutes. How about I live to work? You want me to drive you to work? There's no crime in driving your friend's mother to work, is there? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Worse than bad. Is it the queasy stomach or the thumping head? Or both. It's not even the hangover. <laughs> I just remember what I did. Oh, I didn't declare your love to Chris. No, I declared my hate to Lara. Oh, Libby. I called her a witch and a user and... Why didn't you make me leave when you did? Excuse me, I tried. Well, not hard enough. I shouldn't have been out last night. I was a menace. Oh, Oh no, Chris, oh, Chris is going to fire me. I know he will. She would have cried on his shoulder and told him how awful I was and now he's going to fire me. I should just call him sick. How'd you get home? Kieran. Kieran? He brought me home and... You slept with him. Oh, no. Let me know, no, no. You got drunk and let that creep take advantage no, of you. No, that's the worst thing. He didn't even take advantage. What? I threw myself at him and he said no. Oh. Who did you throw yourself at? No. Kieran? Tanya? Maybe. Mom, I know. Just, just everyone, just, just shut up, okay? Just thank you.
thank you. Sorry. <sighs> she got drunk last night. Oh, she'd have to be drunk to think that associating with Karen was a good idea. At least he had the decency to turn her down. Decency? He doesn't know the meaning of the word. I'm only saying that every other man in this world would have definitely stayed to get a leg over with the drunk chick. Oh, don't say leg over. It's so crass. Libby, you stay away from that man. You hear me? The guy's hardly moved, let alone done anything interesting. We'll still be able to sell the footage and make millions. So if now you're being the creepy one. Okay, now I'm going to start resecting the thyroid. How are you two going in there? Glad to see that no one's had to run from the room yet. <laughs> Must have very strong stomachs. <laughs> First stop I watched, I hurled for a full ten minutes afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> the theatre nurse fainted last week. <laughs> <laughs> you whipped at us. You were right. He is enjoying this operation too much. Some guy's lying there with his throat wide open and he's smiling and winking. But we really need to find out if he's in the country at the time of the murders. Meanwhile, we need to keep getting footage. Is he buying it? I don't know. Stop looking so freaked. Look normal or he'll know we're up to something. Can I see him office for a minute? Chris, I am so sorry. As your PA, there is no excuse. I simply dropped too much and I have no idea why I did what I did. What did you do? You don't know? No. But I'm intrigued. So, why did you call me in? The personal alarms have arrived. I'd like you to distribute them. Oh, 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 hell. What did you do last night, Libby? Um... Oh, as long as it doesn't reflect badly on the hospital, you can get up to whatever you want, outside working hours. Thank you. Not that I want to get up to anything, or drink anything again, for that matter, ever again. Sore head. Slowly. Then you're not going to like the next job I have for you. The personal alarms all need to be tested before they're handed out. There are 400 of them. And they're a bit noisy. <laughs> Looks like you're really going to be earning your money today. You two, in here now. Tell me you weren't videoing the operation on a mobile phone. I wasn't videoing the operation. Dr. Durville saw you, Sophie. Well, he's wrong. I got a phone call, I answered it, and then I turned my phone off. I knew you were up to something. I knew it was a bad idea letting you observe, and I was right. <laughs> Mum, I didn't. If you don't believe me, you can check my phone. See? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Hand it over, Nate. I can't believe you don't trust me. Phone, Nate. You are totally invading his privacy. Yeah? And what are you doing to my patient if not invading his privacy? Ah, oh, I must have accidentally hit record when I answered Save the phone Save it, call. Sophie. I trusted you. My whole team trusted you. The patient trusted you. And you've thrown it back in our faces. Delete it. I'm sorry, Mum. No, you're not. You were standing there five seconds ago lying about it. We won't show anyone. No, you won't, because you're deleting it. There, Mrs. Mackay. It's gone. Good. Now I want the two of you to get the hell out of this hospital. And don't ever bother asking to shadow anyone or observe anything again.